you sure this is the quickest way to Minecraft Live? I'm positive. Maybe we will have an adventure. I'm positive. And find some new mobs along the way. I'm positive. But we have a lot to do before Minecraft Live. I'm positive. That's why we're taking my super secret shortcut. Okay, so as we know, it wasn't the seagull or the jellyfish, but it was the armadillo. And here's the video that they made for it. Have a watch. Are you sure this is a shortcut to Minecraft Live? Absolutely. I am not lost. <laughs> now before moving on, I do want to mention that I will be live once again tonight to cover the last mob as it's announced. But after ending my live stream last night, I did raid Pearlescent Moon, and she mentioned something really interesting about the utility of the crab. In survival mode Minecraft Java Edition, you have a reach of four and a half blocks. So if you count, one, two, three, four, about four and a half. And then if you step further back, you can't reach it. In creative mode, it extends to about five. So if I stand over here, I can still reach the block. But if I scoot a little bit over, I can't reach it anymore. In Bedrock Edition, your reach is about 5.2 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a little bit more, about 3 pixels. And I can still hit the tree. Here's roughly what the crab will do for the game. Crab claws allow players to place blocks further away. Now I believe there's a very similar design in the Create mod called the Extendo Grip. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I've never used this mod. However, anecdotally, it appears that no one really uses the Extendo Grip. So I would need to know if that's the case when deciding to vote. So now we know we're not gonna get the seagull and we're not gonna get the jellyfish. So we can scrap this thing now. But I have a source of information that I'm not gonna mention, that knew the armadillo was coming and is now telling me that the next mob is gonna be the penguin. But luckily for you, I have obtained early access to the thumbnail of the last one. <laughs> that will be released in one and a half hours and it's in an icy biome, except this just won't do. So I'm gonna have to make the full mob vote video right now. Here it goes. Hey Agnes, this doesn't look like Minecraft Live. Where are we? I don't know, Tiny- I mean, I don't know, Tiny Jev. <laughs> but it certainly looks really snowy and really cold. I hope you brought a campfire to keep us warm. I sure did, Agnes. Here's the campfire. Wait, I didn't have a campfire. Oh boy, this campfire looks really small. I sure hope it will keep us warm. <laughs> oh, it sh uh oh, it sure will, Tiny Agnes. Oh, don't want to get too close. But where is Tiny Vu? Shouldn't he be here to, to find the next mob vote? <laughs> oh wait, he's facing the wrong way. Oh hey, Tiny Vu. Have you helped us- <clears throat> Have you come to help us find the next mob for the Minecraft Live? Yeah, guys! It's time to find the next mob! He's not wearing proper attire. Maybe he can like stand between them. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh my, is that a penguin? Oh, out there? Oh, what's an adventure? <laughs> oh indeed, it looks like a penguin. That looks like the next mob for the mob vote. Look at its incredible fins. I'm sure if we carve them out of their own feet, we can use them on ourselves to swim faster in the water. Doesn't he have an American accent? Water. Oh, that's a great idea, Tiny Vu. I love the idea of amputating <laughs> legs off of a penguin. I mean, legs off of a penguin. Penguins, how cute. Oh yeah, the outro. <clears throat> Do you want the penguin to join Minecraft? Voting opens on October 13th at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and you'll have 48 hours to cast your vote. Vote the penguin. <laughs> yeah, and if it's not the penguin, um, y'all can make me do something I don't want to do. Leave a comment. I'll, I'll pick one of them.